Good. I'm excited about ISBA. We've been a part of Nora before, and we love the conferences. Yeah, it's it's great to have you back. You know, we we spoke. I guess it was several months ago. Back then, we were dealing with wildfires. Now we're dealing with ice. So it seems like every time we talk, another <laughs> natural disaster is going on. <laughs> I think so. And it's always in the Portland area. <laughs> yep. Yeah. We are cursed here. I just, I just want things to get back to normal or maybe I should move to Hawaii or something. Cause this is just getting ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame uh, you. Take me with you. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> so meanwhile, you know, you were with Theraspects and maybe, you know, for, you can remind people who maybe didn't go to Nora and this is their first conference. Maybe you can just uh, tell us a little bit about Theraspects wh and what you do with the company and, and what it's all about. Sure. Yes. Yeah. So I am a relationship marketing manager for Theraspects. For those that are not familiar with uh, our brand, we basically make therapeutic blue light glasses for people with migraine, post-concussion syndrome, and a bunch of other life-sensitive conditions. So really, our glasses are effective for anybody where light sensitivity is a component. Um, and we use a tint called FL41, which a lot of the ISBA attendees may be familiar with. And uh, in case you're not, it is a dusty rose tinted color. And our standard indoor tint, for example, is um, baked into the lens in such a way that it can still be used indoors without the risk of causing chronic dark adaptation but it's effective enough because it filters out about 75 to 80% of harmful light. So that's kind of Sarah's sex in a nutshell. Got it. And I have it up on the screen right here just to sort of reinforce what you were saying so people can take both a look, you know, at the glasses themselves and how they work. Um, and, you know, you can see that you're showing sort of what other uh, glasses do and how Therospex might be different in terms of the amount of light that they filter. Sure, correct. So there's a lot of blue light glasses out of there in the market right now. I'm sure that people are aware of that. Um, and so essentially, uh, I think what you're pulling up, and it's also in our booth if anybody wants to go and stop by and take a look, we scanned a bunch of popular brands that a lot of people may be more familiar with as far as uh, clear lenses that block blue light. And so they, um, we wanted to do a comparison of how much blue light is actually being filtered out and more specifically what wavelengths of light because that's something else that's also very important in regards to getting a clinical strength or uh, therapeutic strength uh, type of filter, right? So you'll see that um, we have, let's see, we have... Um, some of the popular brands, I'm just pulling it up on my site over here, sorry. We have stuff like TIJN, we have Warby Parker, um, and really I think the biggest thing to take home here is that, uh, you know, the, the ultimate thing that matters is how much harmful light is being filtered out and at what wavelength. Um, and so that's the, that's the main thing, and that's when people ask me, you know, what's the difference between you and other pink glasses, for example, that I can buy on Amazon. One of the biggest things I always say is I recommend them to ask them, you know, for a transmission graph of this sort and uh, ask them how much light is being filtered out and at what wavelength. And that's where you can really see the comparison factor because you'll notice that most clear blue light glasses, they filter out less than 10% of this harmful light. And so if you want something effective to, you know, curb a migraine or to relieve light sensitivity from a concussion, then you're looking at something that's a little stronger, something like Therasex, which, like I mentioned earlier, filters out about 80% of blue light. Right. And, you know, I, I remember when, when these glasses first started coming out, you know, the frame selection was not necessarily great. I don't want to say ugly, but, you know, when, when, when these first hit the market, they were not the most attractive things. But you guys actually have sort of a wide variety of styles, and I'm going to put it up on the screen for people to see as well. Uh, we have a bunch sure. of pictures, so everyone can kind of see, get a sense of what they really look like. So that's kind of neat that you've sort of made it um, a bit more fashionable than what you might be able to get online. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm that's sure. one of the things. Could... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. 
Um, I just want you to address the other reasons that uh, blue light lenses were um, uh, prescribed at the very beginning. First, they also have AR coatings, as you know, which aren't very good. I won't mention brand names, but they're very bad in, in the yeah. tradition. But things like circadian rhythm for children, uh, preventative right. or help for AMD, et cetera, they will do at 480 nanometers the exact same things for those conditions, I assume. Correct. So, so sometimes people have asked us, um, you know, do their sex help with sleep? And it's not something that we um, we don't market the product that way because that's not necessarily what we're targeting. Um, at least that's not our end goal. They could help because they're blocking out blue light. And uh, if people, you know, we've heard from some of uh, patients and customers who don't necessarily have uh, extreme light sensitivity or they overcame their light sensitivity and they simply decide to wear their specs a couple hours before bed and they have reported that it has helped them with better sleep. So you can definitely still use it that way, but you're right. Essentially, uh, blue light blockers, when they came out in the market, it was to promote better sleep and to reduce that, you know, harsh green light that we use every day. Yep. Great. And so let me, uh, let me bring it back up here just so people can see again, the different, you know, f frames actually on, on folks. So you can get a sense of what they look like. Um, so definitely different from the old days. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. Yeah. So these are definitely much yeah, more no, Definitely. We have 14 styles. And uh, just so everyone knows, every style also can be purchased in an outdoor lens. So essentially sunglasses, but a little bit better because they have our therapeutic tints and our outdoor lenses are also polarized for glare. And so everything you see here, uh, you'll see on our online page as you're pulling it up right now that it's it's pink. It's, uh, you know, in indoors, but again, they come in the outdoors as well. Right. And one of the cool things is that you can get a combo pair. So let's say somebody likes a style and they want to get both the indoor and outdoor pair together, then they can get a $30 discount if they get both. Oh, excellent. So I guess that, that was the next question. So, um, and by the way, these are prescription lenses, right? People can actually get their RX put into the lenses. These not just something, you know, that you get that's, that's Plano. Correct. So everything uh, comes in Plano, um, but you're right. If somebody wanted to build their prescription into the lenses, then we can definitely do that. We just, we'll just need their prescription and it's a little bit of a longer turnaround time, but just usually it's just like a couple of weeks. And, um, and yes, and we can also do it in their own frames. So if somebody takes a look at our selection and they find that they, you know, just want something more unique to their taste or simply just something that has more coverage, uh, whatever the case may be, they can send in their frames and we can make their specs uh, for those frames as well. Cool. And so the big question, of course, is how do people actually order and get started? What's the sort of mechanism for the doctors who want to get involved? Absolutely. So the reason we like exhibiting at these conferences is because we give away free sample materials for providers who want to trial these with their patients uh, in their practice. Um, one of the things that we encourage attendees to do is to visit our booth. There's a tab that says request uh, sample glasses and brochures. And it's a very quick form. You just need your name, your email, and then you can select if you want just glasses or just brochures or both. And then I'll reach out to you shortly after that and I'll just ask you a couple of questions to learn a little bit more about your practice. And then from there I can determine more about what styles might work best for your practice, um, you know, how many providers do you work with, how many samples do you need, just logistical things like that. Um, but definitely they are, they are complementary for healthcare providers and so we encourage people to to definitely get some in their practices. This is something they've been wanting to try out. Fantastic. Yeah. And I would imagine for a product like this too, Steve, you could probably, you know, back this up. Having the sample in the office is really important. Um, so oh, people can absolutely. Really check um, out. We used, uh, you probably know the other main product that's used in general optom optometry and ophthalmology. And it's great because um, they give you a little um, laser pointer, which is blue light. You can show how it just totally absorbs it. And it's a bit, it's when you explain it to patients. And even, you know, it's great now. I'm sure you know, uh, Ms. Perez, that both the iPhone and the um, 
and the Android have a, a night shift uh, mechanism. So you're yeah. showing that these companies mm-hmm. realize that there's a problem with blue light. Well, you're not doing right. everything with that, but we, we explain it to all the patients in that little 20-second uh, demonstration. It's great. But it shows that if these major companies are putting this uh, uh, component into their phones, there's got to be a problem. And then it, it sells itself. We were right. doing upwards of uh, 40 50% other glasses I won't mention the name of the companies because you hadn't been in our office at that point in time, but uh, certainly would in the future. Um, so you're correct. And the, and the conversation goes really easy when you show how major manufacturers of phones are addressing this problem. Right. Yeah, thank you so much for, you know, uh, throwing that in there because that, that that's true. It's, it's essentially uh, more of a, a widespread or, you know, more commonly known pro- problem, like you said. And I personally use my night mode every day it comes on at 8 30 p.m and um, it's something that I love it's a little bit more of a yellow screen but I do notice that it, it makes my eyes it helps my eyes relax a little bit more before bedtime so well, definitely something that we minimal. Also... yeah I don't right that exactly problem at all. yeah exactly it is minimal mm-hmm. it is minimal and so it's not something that essentially would help somebody with you know chronic migraines um, entirely so a combination of doing something like that on their phone screen and wearing Theraspex would probably be more effective for them. Right. But yes, to your point, it's, it's extremely minimal compared to a therapeutic tint. Yeah. Yeah. And it's funny, though, you're absolutely right, because my 10-year-old was playing with his phone. He's like, what the heck is this? Right? And he, he turned on the night <laughs> And I had to explain to him and go into the whole song and dance and the science of it. So I'm like, okay, so if 10-year-olds are asking about this now, this is probably something that most people are going to be familiar with. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they know all about blue light, it sounds like. Yep. <laughs> well, great. Well, so Gloria, funny. thank you for, for you know being here today. Thank you for sponsoring the conference. And uh, I'm going to, again, you know, request everyone go into your booth, check check you guys out, and uh, you know get in contact with you to get some samples. Yeah, definitely. And then just one last thing before uh, I let you guys go is uh, even if you don't want a sample uh, for your practice, if you wanted a personal pair for yourself, we're giving... Uh, attendees a 15% off discount code. It's also in our booth. You can find it there, but just in case, it is ISBA2021. And you can just enter that at checkout and get 15% off your order. Oh, awesome. Well, thank you for that. And, uh, you know, I I think uh, we'll be hearing a lot from you guys in the future as well. And if anybody has any questions, you know, obviously, as the conference goes on, we'll forward them on to you. Sure, absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks. Have a great day.